G'day guys, welcome back. Look what I'm doing today, a set of dice. This is the double sixes, there they are there. And there's 28, seven by four, 28 pieces. Now, did you see my gold frog that I did the other day? Oh my gosh, I love, love, love my gold frog. So I thought, I wonder if I can do something similar and dust my domino cavities with the same Meron metallic powder. That's it there. This is just a normal gold metallic and that's the Meron. It's sort of like more of a coppery kind of a colour. This one's very bright gold. So anyway, I'm going to use that one. I haven't used this one before so I'm not sure how it's going to turn out but I do know that, <laughs> let's get that off, I do know that I like the Meron. So let's get started. So pretty basic because I was thinking to myself, what can I do in dominoes? And I just thought, I just want to do a nice quick little video, but something that's, I want to do something that's really elegant. I know this is going to be very messy. <laughs> something that's elegant, timeless, that people are going to enjoy playing their dominoes, you know, with, with it. So I'm just going to do this and then... I'm going to, making sure I'm getting the sides as well. Uh, and then I'm just going to fill it up. I was thinking black, because then when you turn them over, uh, you know, you'll have black on one side, gold on the other, and then I'll do, I'll colour the little cavities and the line in, in black. So it'll be black and gold. I'm not exactly sure what this is going to look like, with black so I'm a little bit hesitant to do it um, yeah I wish I wish I'd sort of tested it out earlier to see what black on this would look like so anyway you get the general idea um, I'm gonna put you on fast forward I'll do the rest I'll mix up my resin I still don't know whether I'm gonna do gold or black though I don't know I wish I wouldn't could find out Anyway, doesn't matter. We'll, we'll figure it out together, hey? Back in a tick. So that's done. I did knock over the jar, but that's okay. I actually scraped 99% of it back into the bottle. I'm just using my baby wipe, squirting a little bit of alcohol on it just to clean up my edges because they don't look pretty and I want them to look pretty. <laughs> so yeah, just doing that. Now, while I was doing this, I was thinking to myself, let's just try the black, shall we? Because like I said, I wanted to have the black bottom with the corresponding black little dots and things. So we'll try it. Eh? I, I've never done it before with black, so we'll try it and, and see what happens. I mean, it's, it's only a little bit of resin. It's not going to be a lot of resin. Um, I made this mold myself. It's my prototype. It's not available just yet, but with any luck... It will be in the next week or well, maybe by the time you see the video it might be ready I don't know <laughs> we'll see I'll try my best I know there's a lot of domino sets out there that you can buy but um, you know I just wanted to make one with my good thick silicone that I used for my molds instead of that really cheap sort of translucent one how's that look that looks all right doesn't it so yeah I want I wanted to oh gosh I've wiped over there by mistake I wanted to try it with my silicone so that's what I've done I'm gonna have to go over this little piece because I smudged it with my cloth there we go put it back 
So, um, I probably should have, <laughs> oh, I should have used my blower beforehand. I'm just going to give it a light a blow. Um, mix up my resin. I wonder how much I need. It's probably not going to need very much. What, 10, 10 grams for each? Still, there's 28 cavities, so that's 280 grams. Oh, I don't know if it needs that much. I don't know. I'll work it out. I'll be right back. Right, so I have mixed up my resin. I actually did allow 10 grams per cavity. So there's 28 cavities, so that's 280 grams, um, which is about, it's about nine ounces, I think, something like that. Now I'm using, this is fast becoming my new favorite resin. It's the Platinum River Table Epoxy. It's a two to one, so you get two bottles of A and one bottle of B in the kit. Uh, and it's, it's really low bubbles. So hopefully, like it degasses really well. The only, only negative, and I guess, you just have to outweigh the positives is that I'm not going to be able to unmold it for like 24 hours. It doesn't set up as fast as the Platinum 360 Plus. So I'm going to pour it into here and then pour it into my little cavities. It'll be easier. Now, I did chicken out. <laughs> I reneged <laughs> um, on doing the black. I'm going to do a little test piece over here. I've just dusted my puffy heart with the Meron powder. Uh, and I'm going to pour some black into that one, all right, just to test it. Because like I said, this is my prototype. It's not perfect. It will be perfect once I'm finished with it. This is my little test mold. I always do a test mold first. So let's, we'll put some black in here. So two reasons why I didn't, I'm not going to pour black in there, is the first one, I'm not sure what the gold is going to look like once I've demolded and also see how the dust, the powder of gold is sitting on top of the black. I didn't want that. I just think it's going to spoil the look. I either want it stark black or stick with gold. See what's doing there? So I didn't want to do that. Right. So here we go. I'm going to mix some of my Meron in here. I'd have to buy another jar of Meron. Meron? Meron? I might have to add a bit more than that actually because I want it to be nice and opaque. I found when I've put clear resin over the metal powder, and this is a metal powder, it's not a mica powder. There's a difference. I don't know what it is, but there's a difference. Look at that. <laughs> like molten gold, isn't it? So uh, yeah, when I've when I've poured clear in, the gold has become a little bit transparent, and I didn't like that. I want that really solid gold look. Actually, that that's looking really good. Actually, I don't I can't see my stick through it. I think that'll do. All right, let's move that away. Now I'm just going to give that a minute, just to let the powders rise sometimes you need to just mix it and then wait a couple of minutes and then just mix it again if there's any any little loose powders popping up so I'm just going to give that a minute so they're all popping up and then I'll, I'll mix it again and then I'll come back and pour okay let's do this so I'm going to pour some into my little paper cup only half, don't fill up more than half, otherwise it can all dribble down the side and that's no good. So I put my cup on a piece of paper towel. All right, are we ready? So I'll put a little bit in and then I'll come back and sort of fill them up once the resin's had a chance to level itself out. I better get a piece of paper towel so I can catch the drips. I do have any drips. So you start up here, it's got six, 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 five, six, four, six, three, six, two, six, one, six, blank. And then five, 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 four, five, three, five, two, five, one, five, blank. 
you get the message. You get the general idea. So that's, I guess that's what a normal domino set looks like. Now this is a very simple, relatively easy, straightforward piece. If you're new to resin and you want to try it out, but you don't want to be stressed with, you know, trying to get flowers to stay or, you, you know, 3D blooms to bloom and you just want to enjoy your first resin experience. I think this is quite a simple, nice way to get started with resin. It's not too difficult. You just have to be careful you don't overflow. It's the only thing really you need to worry about is putting too much in and the resin overflowing. But just put a little bit in each, let it settle, and then you can go back and add a little bit more, would be my advice to you. And then just, you know, make sure that you're cleaning the edge of your cup so it doesn't drip everywhere. Okay, I've made up way too much resin <laughs> by the looks of it. Oh, I had one domino. Well, I mean, I've got a set of dominoes. I've done dominoes before. And I just weighed one of them and uh, went by that. Yeah, that'll be enough. I'll make up that. 280 grams. But they're not full yet. But if I've got gold left over, I'm going to have to figure out something else to do with gold, aren't I? All right, get rid of that bit of paper towel, grab another one. So they're pretty much all covered. So now all I have to do is fill them up. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Make sure that the surface you're working on is nice and level. Use a spirit level on your table. I've got a bench. Uh, sorry, a, a board under under here, um, and I can level my board because my table's not level, which is fine. As long as you've leveled your board, you're good to go. And you can see, like when all your little dots are covered, don't they look cute like that? Just poking through. Hello, goodbye. It looks so cute poking through like that. You can see how level my table is now, hey? My bench top. Okay, keep going. Feel free to skip to the unmolding if you don't want to watch me <laughs> filling dominoes. It's not terribly exciting. There's a bubble there, I'm gonna have to pop that. So I'm not gonna run around the edges or anything with my silicone little brush I'm just going to trust in the resin that it's going to do its job and uh, release all those little bubbles so that we get a nice clean domino set without any little holes from bubbles because nobody wants holes in their dominoes. Can't remember what I was up to, but this one doesn't look quite full yet. All right, so um, here we go. I'm just going to sort of fiddle a little bit more, make sure that they're all got the same amount in them and um, then we'll come back to you tomorrow tomorrow afternoon I'm gonna have to wait 24 hours and my leftover gold I'll put in here um, I, I showed you on another video the difference between dusting it with gold or just pouring this in like you do get a quite a different uh, look so I'll just anyway I'll use up my leftovers in there and uh, I will see you tomorrow I'll just keep going with this it's the next day 
I've waited till 9 a.m. I got my work out of the way first. I made some silicon molds for orders. Left these as long as possible because they're probably a little bit bendy still, but I can't wait any longer. I'm hoping, hoping you guys, that these are going to look like little gold bars. I'm hoping. Now, I can only find this black marker to do the little dots. Hopefully, it'll be all right. Otherwise, I'll have to make, mix up some paint and use my little dotting tool. Um, or you can put some paint with a little bit of water in a little um, bottle with a needle nose and, you know, do that. But anyway, now I wanted to do these ones first. I didn't show you these, but I had some leftover of the gold, so I thought I'll just do it. Now, this one was dusted with the Meron gold and then black poured into it, okay? So we'll see how that looks because I wasn't sure whether or not it would work. Oh, it's amazing. Wow. Look at that. That is so good. I'm going to stand on my little step. Hang on, let me get my step so I can see what you're seeing. Right, now I can look down into my screen. <laughs> it's only a little step about that high, but I can see into the screen now, whereas before I couldn't because it's like at a eye height. All right, so that's the, that's the black. Now this one was dusted with the gold and it just had the gold poured into it as opposed to the black poured into it. So I don't know if there'll be any difference. Mm, I don't think so. I think they look the same. Can you see any difference? No, I don't see any difference there. So that was the black, that was the gold. And then the last one, I didn't dust with Meron gold powder. I just poured in this same um, resin here. So you get a different look like that. See, look at the difference. It's amazing, isn't it? So that one's not dusted first and this one is dusted first. So it just depends on what look you're going for. And then the one filled with black, I, I don't think made any difference, but I don't like how you can see all the, the dust on the back there. I'd rather it just, I guess that doesn't look, as, this doesn't look any better, does it? I guess what you could do, I am getting to the demolding. I am, I am. Actually, now that I look at these ones, this one does look slightly darker. Yeah, um, I guess what you could do is do it in two stages, pour half so that you've got the gold and then pour the black on top. That way you get a nice black finish but you don't have the, um, the mica powders coming up like that. So if you had time, I, I guess that would be ideal just to top coat it with black. Now, I also had um, some more left over so I popped it, um, I dusted them first. This is just my uh, Druzy pendant mold and I did dust them first as you can see all the little bits of dust still in there little bits of dust still in there but they come out you can just spray it with alcohol and then wipe it with a baby wipe so that's that one there my six druzy mold all right let's have a little look there they go aren't they so cute this one's more textured this one's really fine you can see the difference there um, so really cute, yeah, you can um, pop on a, a stick-on bale onto those and you could have some really unique little pendants, can't you? But um, I will just, I will pop these just into some, some orders when people order something from me. All right, now without further ado, now that that's all out of the way, let's get all these out, hey? Oh, this is going to take a while, isn't it? It's gonna take a while. Oh gosh. I'll just put them everywhere. Put them everywhere. They'd pop out really easily. I feel, I can feel with my thumb that they're really smooth. My thumb's going underneath. I still have to turn them all over. I need a helper. I need a helper. <laughs> So I wanted to turn them all over for me because I don't want to turn them over yet. I want to get them all out and then I'll flip them over. 
but like I said, I'm, I'm hoping, oops, we've got one that's stuck a little bit. Why are you stuck? Are oh, you just a bit of, a little bit of overflow there? A little bit of overflow. Oh, there we go. See, it's still a bit soft. Oh, I shouldn't be getting them out. That's still a bit soft. All right. Once I have turned them over, I'll, I'll leave them on my surface here um, to set up. All right, here we go. Let's, let's just pick one and turn it over, hey? Let's see what it looks like. So we're hoping for little bars of gold. But remember, this is my prototype. They're, they're, only th they're not as thick as I would like them. Um, I'm going to do them again. Um, these are only thin ones, but they will be thicker. Oh, wow, look. Oh, gosh, I've got a little hair in there. Typical, typical. Wow, look at that. That's so shiny. So shiny. Wow. Love them. Do they look like little bars of gold, guys? Let's flip them all over. Now, the Maron isn't that yellow gold. You can do a yellow gold if you wanted a yellow gold, but I didn't want the standard yellow gold. I wanted the one that had a little bit more bronze look to it. Now, I wonder if my little pen's going to work. I'll try it with the pen first. Oh, double six, here we go. I guess the only thing with the pen is it's not, like you'd have to do two coats, I think, like it's not covering that well. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to go to my second choice. All right, I'm going to mix up a little bit of paint. I wonder if it's just that pen. No. All right, I'm going to mix up some paint. And I'll be right back. I was searching high and low and decided I'm <laughs> going to have to give up. I can't find one. And then I found one. So get rid of that because that'll just be in the way. Now I've mixed up some black. Uh, I just used my sweater hat on hand. Joe Sonia's. It's a relatively thin paint anyway. And I just added a splash of water to get it sort of runny. So it sort of runs off the stick. Now trying to get it into this might be a little bit more tricky hey just make a little point there with my paper cup oh, it's not too bad so I'll put it all in there and this will be my little dotting cup little dotting bottle I should say the next time I want to do any little dots but I will be making more dominoes I'm actually going to go out and get um, I saw it craft online on their website they had a packet of 10 or 12 metallic colors um, like paint pens so I might go and get that in the next couple of days I will scrape out the rest of that later, but there we go. Okay, let's see how this works. Get it to come down. Whoa, whoops, there we go. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh, gone over. <laughs> so, and it, see, it's much, it's better um, finish, isn't it? Gosh. I'm going to do that. Put you on focus number three. So I put a little drop in. I'm just going to kind of swirl it around. Maybe two drops. Swirl it around. If you go over, well what I might do afterwards is just get a baby wipe and just sort of wipe the surface. The paint will dry. I'm watching in the screen and not watching what I'm doing. I'm not doing a very good job, am I? I'm learning. I'm learning. Let's try this one. 
Now, with my domino set, when, when I do get it perfect, perfected, see how the dots are quite large and the line in the middle is quite large? I wanted that specifically um, so that it's a bit easier for people to use, you know. Oh gosh, a bit bigger, a bit, bit um, <laughs> I'm all fingers and thumbs today. <laughs> oh gosh, let me get a baby wipe out. Um, yeah, so I wanted to make it a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker. Okay, that's not going to work. I'm going to have to wait for, them, for it to dry. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm learning, you guys. I'm learning. I'll clean it off later. Obviously, you have to wait until it's dry. If you were using a marker, you would, it wouldn't have that problem, but the wipe is pulling the colour out. Okay, let's get back to it. I'm sure as I go along, I, I've, I think I've only done two domino sets in my whole life. So as I go along, I will get better at it. Look at that. See, those those ones are perfect. Perfect, you guys. Perfect. All right, now I do need to lay them flat um, because they are a little bit bendy still. But what do you think of these? Do you like those? Pretty cute, aren't they? All right. Um, let's do another one. <laughs> Just so that I can... Try a little bit better on this one. Look at me go, look at me go. Just kind of squeezing a bit as I'm swirling. But yeah, the um the other domino sets that I made, they were quite small. Uh, the holes were really quite small. I struggled with them. And the little lines were quite small, so yeah, I've struggled with it. But look, once um, once they've set, it's it's only paint on there. Once they've set, <laughs> look at the state of me. <laughs> I can't do anything without getting messy. Once the colour, the black, has dried, I'll be able to go over the top with um, a baby wipe and just clean off my little areas that I've I've spilt. So there we go. I am going to go and do the rest now. And uh, I'll show you once they're done. But really happy with how sparkly they are. But yeah, my next my next lot will be um, will be better. All right, just a so little just a little sneak peek, okay? At what's com coming up in my molds, my store. All right, I will see you once this is all done, and I'll set them up nicely.
so there you go hope you've enjoyed my little video um, but yeah I am in no way an expert domino maker as you saw I struggle but I, I think this um the little bottle I think it did it did work I'm going to order some more of those and then I can have different um, colors in each one but I will try the paint pens I will go and grab some of those and see how they work but with the marker it, it just wasn't dense enough was it the color all right thanks again for watching I will see you all again real soon for the next video let's get a bit of shine on this a bit of shine please <laughs> thank you see you real soon bye for now